Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we'll be teaching you on how to install Nameless MC for your web host. To get started, what we need to do is go into namelessmc.com. Then on the top, we can click on download and we can download a version 2.0.2 or whatever version there is currently out. After that, we can scroll down as all this above is just informing us on the latest updates that were provided. And what we need to do is download nameless-deps-dist.zip. Once we have that downloaded, we can actually close out of it and go to our web panel, click on file manager. And here we need to go into the following domains and then whatever domain you're currently using if you have multiple. But for this case, I'm using revivehost.net and you would be replacing it with whatever domain you're using. Next up, up, we'll go into public underscore HTML. And as you can see, my folder is currently empty. If you have any default files, you can go ahead and just select here. And then there will appear three dots in the top right. And you can just remove all the files as they are not important. We'll go ahead and just grab our zip that we downloaded and drag it straight into our file manager, making sure it is in the public underscore HTML folder. We can close out of there, give it some time to upload. And then we can just right click it and click extract. Give it a little bit more time so all the files are extracted perfectly. And then it will pop up a notification. We can just go ahead and click extract as well. And and just like that, it's done. Now, if we go into our domain, you'll see revivehost.net.com. It will be slash install as this is the installation process for NamusMC. But let's go ahead and start the installation process. If you're upgrading, you don't need to be doing these steps, but we're going to do a complete new installation. So we'll go ahead and click new installation. We can click proceed. And then we have revive host, the installation path and friendly URLs. We can just enable that. Click proceed. And here's where we're going to input our database information. For that, I'm going to go into our web and I'm going to look look for my scale management. Here I can create a new database. In this case, I'm just going to name it nameless MC. You can name it whatever you want, preferably a uh, secure. You could even just name it forms or again, any name you want. For this example, I'll just leave it at forms. And then we need a password. Again, please use a secure password to ensure no one can ever get into it. But for this example, I'm just going to use a quick and easy password admin one, two, three. After that, we can go ahead and just click create database. And here's all the information that we're going to require. To get started, we need a database base address. We're actually going to keep that as default and we're also going to keep the port as default. But what we're going to change is the database username. And as you can see right here, we have the username. We can copy that and just paste it into the username. And then we have the password as well. We can copy and paste. And then we just have the database name, which is at the top. And then we can just go ahead and click proceed. And the installation has started. And it's just making sure it can connect to the database perfectly. We can click continue. And then afterward, we need to provide some simple information on what we want it to be. I'm just going to type in revive host as the website name and for the contact information you can create emails within the web panel and I will do one for this example just in case you do need an email you can use your own but it's more professional to use one directly connected to the website so we can go ahead and click create an account and for the username what I'm going to do is just put it as reply at revivehost.com and I can click create and I can just copy this email and paste it in here and here Make sure there's no spaces and in the language as well. I'm going to change it to English US, but you can change it to whatever you want and I can click on proceed. Now we can input our the following information. This is going to be the admin account. So I'm just going to put admin as the username and I'll put admin at admin dot com and a password admin and then admin again. Please note again, I'm doing all this for tutorial purposes, but you would have to input the correct and secure information. So I would recommend using an actual username, an actual email and a difficult password so no one can get access to your admin panel. We can click on proceed and then it'll ask a simple question. Do you want to convert from a different software such as using Zenforo? But we are not. We can click on no and we have finished. Now we can go to click on finish and just like that, it will load up and give us a pathway to our admin panel. Here is where we input that information. So it's asking for the email that we set up. So in my case, it was admin at admin. And just like that, I have logged in into the admin panel. But if I go directly into revivehost.net, as you can see right there, our website fully functional. Here you can create any forms you need and change anything such as adding modules. But one last thing I will be explaining is how to upload a theme. For this example, I already have a theme that I bought and I'll be uploading it. Now when purchasing a theme, what you'll see is typically a format like this, but it can change. You'll have such a upload folder and a readme on how to do it. You can do the readme, but for most themes, all you really do is the following. I extracted my theme and I put it in a different zip with the custom as the main directory. So when I open up my zip, all I can see is custom as that has all the files that I need. So what I can do with that is go into public underscore HTML and then upload the theme into the main directory. I can right click and then click on extract and then click extract again and there you go now we'll head over back into our nameless mc admin panel and as you can notice at the top there is a nice dark mode theme so i 
really do enjoy that. And then we'll go into layout. We'll click on templates. And here we can click on install if it's not showing up for you. After that, you can click on activate. After that, make it default. And then we can go into our revive page, click reload. And just like that, we have a custom theme added into our nameless forms. I can completely see that I butchered the name admin, but that's perfectly fine. I can modify that anytime. It was all tutorial purposes, but it's all fine. But other than that, hopefully this video was informative. If you'd like to see any other type of tutorials, please let us know in the comment section. Other than that, we hope you have an amazing day and thank you for choosing Revive Node.